As I promised in previous video, I'm now coming back with uh, some answers to certain questions uh, raised uh, during filming immediately after the terrorist attacks uh, on Moscow on 22nd March 2024. In this video, uh, you can expect uh, the follow-up uh, from my previous video, which I recommend you to watch anyway, because that uh, previous video was uh, filmed immediately after uh, the terrorist attack on Moscow, uh, Crocus City Hall, and there were a lot of uh, uncertain things, uh, unknown things, uh, and uh, now we have uh, at least some answers, but uh, later on you will see there are uh, more questions. Now we know for certain that uh, ISIS, Islamic State, uh, K, is responsible for the terrorist uh, attack, and uh, death toll exceeded uh, over 150 casualties, and many uh, people are still fighting for their lives uh, because they are injured. I hope uh, that toll will not raise further. Whole Europe and uh, the rest of the world are uh, now on high alert, and we all should be, because these uh, terrorist uh, lunatics. I would not call them Islamic uh, terrorists, because in my view they don't have uh, much to do with uh, true Islam. They are cowards and heinous criminals who have no guts to pursue their ideas uh, in different way. They don't even have knowledge. It's easy to kill innocent civilians. But uh, did they wonder how bad reclama for Islam, for their faith they are making? Now whole world is against them. Me too. And normal Muslims who are not radical. These days, Scott Ritter, famous uh, US uh, commenter, former arms inspector is very popular and occasionally I'm watching uh, some podcasts uh, where he is a guest uh, and I can tell you I disagree with uh, most of the things but one one thing that I completely agree with him is this there's some thing. talk that these attackers were affiliated with um islamic state um Khorasan, which is a, a specific branch of the islamic state linked to afghanistan turkmenistan iran um that's an ancient term for um territory in the central um southwest asia region um <clears throat> and there's some evidence that uh, has been put out there that uh, suggests, you know, that is designed to suggest that that is indeed the case. We know the United States immediately said it was ISIS Khorasan, uh, and the United States immediately said that it wasn't uh, Ukraine. Uh, um, I don't want to get into the details of, um, you know, is the, the nuances of um, Islamic faith, but um, let's just say that the left hand is um, an unclean hand. Uh, you don't eat with it, um, and you don't. Uh, do religious symbology with it. If you were going to do shawda, you would do it with your right hand. You would raise your right hand and, and swear fealty. The photograph showed them doing it with their left hands, which means that these people don't know the first thing about Islam, that these are people who are peripheral, you know, they have peripheral knowledge of Islam. They might call themselves Muslim, but they have no in-depth knowledge of the Islamic faith or, you know, the, the realities attached to the symbolisms of Islamic faith. Uh, the other thing that was interesting about this photograph is that their um, faces were blurred. Um, every video I've seen of Al Qaeda or Islamic State terrorists uh, who film these things before the act, 
their face is clear. They identify themselves by name and they say why they're doing this because they are seeking martyrdom. They are going to heaven. 72 virgins await them. God bless these men. But um, the, the, the fact is, you know, they don't blur their faces, but these guys blurred their faces. Why? What I disagree with uh, Scott Ritter is that uh, this terrorist attack is uh, or had been organized or orchestrated uh, by Ukrainian authorities. This is uh, in line with uh, Putin's uh, statement these days. And he also admitted that, uh, yeah, it was uh, the terrorist attack was uh, committed by uh, Islamic radicals, uh, but uh, they wanted to uh, escape to Ukraine and who was waiting for them. You know what? First of all, we are not sure that uh, this group uh, has been caught in Bryansk. There is no evidence. So we cannot uh, for certain claim that uh, they wanted to run away to Ukraine. Anyway, even if uh, somehow they had links uh, to Ukraine, uh, they would not... Uh, probably they are not uh, that stupid to run away to the, the most secure border in the world after Gaza. I don't know how they planned uh, to to cross to Ukraine through thousands of uh, checkpoints uh, on the way from Moscow to Ukrainian border. I don't know. I can't believe that uh, a group which uh, organized the uh, shooting you know they they uh, planned uh, in details uh, uh, for certain time uh, how to commit it and they committed but apparently uh, they failed to plan the evacuation at first glance uh, i thought uh, you know this group uh, could be just uh, ordinary uh, Tajik uh, nationals uh, who uh, who were caught uh, on the street, beaten up, tortured, and forced to admit whatever uh, security forces wanted them to admit. But later on, uh, when I dug up uh, deeper, I actually uh, confirmed I, I could uh, find uh, some articles, uh, footage uh, of uh, those uh, arrested uh, and uh, it indicates they are really connected with that uh, idiotic uh, group uh, uh, from Afghanistan and that uh, area uh, around. Yes, they are idiotic group because uh, I cannot uh, call them other name. I'm very angry because it's uh, currently month of uh, Ramadan uh, where true Muslims, real Muslims, ordinary people are fasting, not only avoiding food and drinks and stuff like that, but also, you know, they uh, clear up uh, the, the, their minds and the last thing they could think about is to make harm to anybody. Such groups make uh, good people among Muslims to, to be ashamed because you know Islam incorporates uh, all uh, races, all nations, uh, and uh, it should be good. How somebody can 
say it's good to go and shoot or blow up, uh, burn alive somebody, cut the throat. <laughs> And this is uh, this is so anti-Islamic, so anti-humanity that the whole world should unite against groups like this. Not only uh, Christians, but uh, Christians, Muslims, and all others should unite together and arrest and punish all those groups uh, who dare to attack civilians, ordinary people, children, and others. This is a shame for them and for all Muslims in the world. So, after all, it turned out to be terrorist attack without any political message. The only message was, as I said in the previous video, just to kill innocent people and make damage, not only to those who they attacked, but also to billion other Muslims in the world. They are ashamed now. See you.